What is up guys, today I'm going to be telling you three things that you might not know about Grand Theft Auto Online. So, the first thing that I am going to be going over is the speedometer in game. You cannot go over 120, the max. Now, if you hit a shit ton of bumps and stuff, you could probably reach up to like 140. But for the most part, 120 is your max, maybe 125. See, I'm, I'm doing 140 right now in the Sultan, but like T20s and stuff, the max you can end up going is 125. So know that. So that is one thing. But the max you can go in Grand Theft Auto Online, no jumps or anything, you know, provided. Um, just on street and free mode. Um, it is 140, no matter what, what car you're in. Unless you lower, you can go more faster. But that is one thing you might not know. Alright, so on top of that, the first person speedometer issue, what I'm going to be telling you is why, from PS3 if you knew, the regular Sultan and the um, uh, Sentinel XS had the turbo gauge that my Uzi's like pointing towards, the turbo gauge, right on the dash, like right there, um, well, the reason they didn't put it in is because they would have had to make working turbo gauges for every car and I don't think they were ready to do that yet even though they possibly could have or maybe they just didn't feel like it was needed yet maybe they were waiting but for the most part that that is the reason that's why they didn't because it was just one of those things um so anyways that and that's another thing that's why so if you notice on the PS3 if you go back on it all the cars will have like Sentinel the um, regular uh, fucking Sultan. All that shit will have turbo gauges on it, but yet on the PS4 they don't. So maybe later on, but that is another cool fact you might guy they guys might not have known. One other thing, when you get out of your car, your speedometer does not have any pins saying where it goes. See that? No pins. Now those right there do it, but if you look at your speedometer, but then if you press triangle, automatically it puts pins back in. You get out, no more pins. Press triangle, they appear again. Also, every single car in this game has a very unique sound when you start it up. Even obviously when you get, when you're going, but every car has a very unique sound starting up. So I'm going to point that out. Anyways, though, if that is some stuff in Grand Theft Auto Online that you might or might not know. To be boy, Young Flame. I'm signing out. Peace. Hope you enjoyed the video.